Let's go ahead and stand up and worship the King, the Father. We're in Father's house this morning, and He is, I'm sure, happy to have us all here together. And He's worthy of our praise this morning. So let's focus our attention on Him. Father, we love You so much. We thank You for who You are and for what You're doing. Lord, we thank You that even when we don't see You, even when we don't feel You, You're there. Help us to anchor ourselves in who you are and your truth, Lord. Not how we feel, Lord. We're not worshiping you this morning because we're excited or because we feel good or because it's pretty outside. Lord, you're worthy. That's why we worship you this morning. You're worthy. Thank you, Lord. This morning, 
Father is welcoming you into his presence this morning. Lord, we just, we recognize you this morning together. You're here. We give you permission to move and to do whatever it is that you need to do, Lord. We thank you for the power that's available to us through the name of Jesus. It's such a beautiful name. A wonderful name. We worship you this morning, Lord. Hidden love. 
circumstance, God. Or no matter how I get up and I feel, God, I'm going to praise your name. The name above all names. Oh, so much power in your name. There's healing in your name. There's joy in your name. many of you realize that <clears throat> when we make these I will statements, it has tremendous impacts on our lives. Tiny is going to share this morning some things about our enemy, and, and he, there was a point where he said, I will, I will, I will, and it had some effects on his eternity. Well, we too, when we say, I will, this morning when we say, I will, I'm going to dance in the midst of the rain. I'm going I'm to rest in the arms of the Father. This is, a, this is not pride. This is a humility from my heart. Lord, I'm going to choose you no matter what circumstances I find myself in. I'm going to praise your name because you're good and you're worthy of my praise. When I don't feel anything, Lord, you're worthy of my praise. When all things seem to be good and I feel like I'm in control, Lord, you, you're worthy of my praise. You're still worthy of my humility and bowing down before you. Sometimes it's harder to praise him when things are going smoothly than when things are challenging. The challenging circumstances we face in this life will many times drive us closer to God, or it should. But I've found in my life that it's the hardest to praise him when I feel like I'm doing okay, when I feel like I've got control of things. But that's pride. It is. That's pride. Even on my best day, I still need God. I need him every day of my life. With every breath that I take, I need him. And every time I breathe out, that needs to be a praise toward him. We need Christians who are mature and rooted and grounded in God, and that a mature Christian can, can worship God in every circumstance. We can praise Him. We can bring everything we're doing is a response to who God is. Everything we're doing is worship. doesn't matter where you're working. doesn't matter what you're doing. doesn't matter who you're with, whether you're in church or not. What you're doing is a form of worship, and it needs to be a form of worship toward God a response to him and his goodness. Father, we praise you this morning. We thank you for that name that is above every other name, that name that is worthy of all of our praise, no matter the circumstance. We praise you this morning, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
if the ushers would please come forward. Thank you, Lord, that we have the opportunity to take part into your kingdom and to, it, it's, it's wonderful, Lord, that you, you use us to accomplish your purposes in this world, Lord, that not only did you save us, but you have given us the opportunity to be involved in the salvation of other people's lives. Lord, thank you that it's not all about me. There's more to this than just me. I'm too small of a thing, but that you have a much bigger picture, Lord. Thank you that I can take part, that we can, that we can give into your kingdom, that we can give into an opportunity for people to be saved, for their eternity to be locked in with you, Lord. May what we give this morning bring you glory and save lives. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good morning, Bob's class and Ashley's class, you're dismissed.